Today, I'm here with one of my favorite fishing partners. This is one of my OG fishing partners. Actually, the, <laughs> all three of the northern pike that I've caught in my life that I like to brag about so much, I caught while fishing with Brian. Right. Brian is a firm believer in fishing with lighter tackle, even, and you're always fishing rivers and bigger oh, yeah. waters. Yeah. You're not just like out fishing six pound test, fishing in a, in a far um, pond. So throughout today's video, he's going to explain a lot of the advantages of fishing with the lighter line yeah. and a few of the things that you can help put yourself in a winning position as far as like landing the fish, yeah. as far as playing the fish and all that sort of thing goes. Right, got him that time. We got him? Yeah. Oh. Let's see what we got. One! <laughs> so when, when you say you believe in the six pound test, what's the biggest fish you caught on six pound test? 47 pound spoonbill. Big spoonbill six pound test. On six. The whole trick of it is, always remember this people, that you fight the fish with the rod, not the reel. Most people want to tow truck it in and get it in in a hurry because they're excited, which is understandable. But once you get some experience under your belt, you're going to find if you use that rod tip to wear that fish down, you could catch him on four pounds. So, so like what you're, one of the things we talked about before is, is fighting the fish with the rod and not the reel. Yes. Because like if the fish is taking drag, yes, and you're turning that reel every time, time you, you turn it, line. you put a twist in that line, and that's going to cause a failure sooner. Like if your if your reel is a five to one, every time you turn that and it's pulling drag, it's putting five twists in there. Yes. And that line's only going to be able to handle so many of them. And remember this, a mono line, which I like. A lot of guys like the spider wire and all this other heavy cable wire line and braid. Right. And I don't I don't fish it very often. There's a time for everything, but I like the mono because of the stretch. A lot of people don't like stretching their line. I right. like it. It's forgiving. It gives you to me, when you're on six pound, you're fighting a 40 pound fish, that line's gonna stretch a little bit and that helps you. Meaning, it, 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 it's not apt to snap and break if you make a mistake as easily. Right. fishing with your six pound test and you're getting this 40 pound fish up to the boat mm -hmm. is this your net 
That's my net. I caught uh, just the other weekend, two weekends ago on the Kankakee River, my son-in-law caught a 43-inch flathead. We have a 25-pound scale that maxed it out, so I'm guessing it had to go 30 to 40 pounds. It was a big one now, truly a big cat. I got and uh, we landed it with this small net. There's tricks to every trade, and that is get the head in the net and half the body and hold the net so it don't bend because you can see we bent the net up as big as it was. Half the fish is hanging out, and you can see this is not a deep net. This is a shallow net. <laughs> and we landed that big fish with this net, but it's all in the art of doing anything. Oh, yeah. You get that, and don't rush. What I do, when he was fighting that fish and he was tiring it out, the net was deep into the water. So the fish is used to swimming around it. You put it shallow in the water, your chances when you make that movement to dip it under the fish, he's going to bolt. He sees that movement. Right. So if it's already underneath him, you get him? No, I missed if, it. Um, if you have it already way down deep and it's underneath him, all you have to do is bring it up when his head gets in there. And then what you try to do is swing it to the side of the shore or the boat or whatever and lock it in. And then you can get a hold of this part of the net because, as you could see, the net got bent. And if I wasn't careful, it would have bent it the wrong way and broke the net. I'm going to take a real quick break here. And I want to announce the Fish of the Month winner for August. Uh, Debbie, who's the Fish of the Month winner for August? Looks like Bentley. Hey, congratulations, Bentley. You caught this fish while fishing him in one of my favorite spots on the Ohio River. Congratulations. As always, let's film people driving by every chance we get. <laughs> <laughs> As always, send in your photos to this email address. The Jeff Fishing Vlog Facebook, Instagram, all those addresses will be linked in the descript video description, along with the official set of rules for the Jeff Fishing Vlog Fish of the Year, Fish of the Month contest. Thank all you. Right. Oh, little cat. Oh, we got a little one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's, I think, what we're getting bites on. <laughs> that's what it is. All right. I guess is when you're fishing in a smaller boat like this, you don't want a giant net no i don't this is you can see what i'm fishing with and, and i've caught and, and running in and running into a fish that big may have been a bit unexpected to start with oh yes oh yes you know because you're just out here you're fishing. hoping all the time now was he now was he on six pound test too no he had 10. okay he had 10 okay. pound test yeah no, some people just love 10 pounds yeah. if you notice too anything 10 and over depending on yeah. the manufacturer of the line the line is stiffer yes and you yep. could feel that it's heavier and stiffer. I like this soft, flexible, you know, it's soft, flexible. Uh, it doesn't have a memory like right. the heavier line. It does have memory, don't get me wrong. If you start working with six pound or eight pound is good too, because it's still soft, eight pound. Personally, my favorite line is Strin. Yeah. Strin, I love Strin. For yeah, the I'm a great... It's I moved away from trialing a long time ago. That's, yeah, straight. You guys ain't going to believe this. I troll this lure right here, big tail dancer, Rapala tail dancer, goes 12 feet. I got some that'll go 30. I use six pound test trolling. And a lot of people, you're not, you'll never do it. You can't do that. It'll snap right off. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to have your equipment set up, your drag set up properly. And again, if you use the rod, not the reel, you're going to have more success how many snags we get and i got my bait back on this six pound test all but one all but one and you probably and you it the, to start with hold the spool like this so the spool can't turn and then never bend the rod pulling out always pull straight so you don't break your rod tip a steady even pull nine times out of ten the hook will open up enough to come off the snag yeah you got to re-bend the hook back that's another thing about buying a quality jig or lure. You could bend the hook back and forth about 10 times before it'll break. Now Honest use that God. at your own discretion. Yeah, don't blame, don't blame us but, for your lost fish, I'm just saying. But it, it, it's, if you get, now you buy this junkyard special stuff, you get what you pay for. <laughs> Let's just put it that way too. It's always, that's always the case. Right. You gotta, Jeff's got a good one going. Hopefully a good one. Yeah, go ahead. He's coming up to the bow of the boat. Hopefully he don't get the anchor. All right. 
sure ain't a thing. I mean, the water's hurt, but can't, there's splashing going on. One in the bucket today. Come on, Will. Yes, sir. Trying to uh, just throw the bait out, trying to get the same hand set up. Okay. Gotcha. So when you're fighting these bigger fish, something that that I picked up on that I'll do at times. Uh -huh. If I know I've got a bigger fish on, and I'm fishing with lighter line, I'm, I'm on one of my spinning reels here. At it. Now, given that I'm not going to do it if it's in timber, because you know you're yeah. trying to pull it away from timber. But if I'm in open water and it's fighting and I feel it's pulling, but it's not taking drag, sometimes I'll take and just give it line. I think I even done it on that fight I just had with that catfish, yeah. right? To where it's tugging it. Yeah. It's not pulling drag. Right. I've got open water. I don't want my line to break. Yeah. So I'll take and just give the fish some yes, drag. Yes, yes. Oh, I missed him again. Oh, you're getting bites. Yeah, right here by the side of the boat. This is good. Or get hung up again. <laughs> you ain't getting hung up, you're not catching fish. Yeah, that's true. You're not fishing the right spot anyway. Hey, Brian, what's the best time to fish? Anytime. Anytime. Hey, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit this button over here to subscribe. If you want to watch another one of my videos, you can click on this one right here. Thanks for watching.